On the bottom of our planet lies the frigid land of Antarctica, the coldest and most inhospitable continent in the world. Stretching over five million square miles, Antarctica is covered in ice sheets that reach more than a mile deep. The average daily temperature is negative 49 degrees Fahrenheit, and wind speeds can reach over 100 miles per hour. Today, the only inhabitants of this barren landscape are scientists who work in research stations scattered across the continent. Mainstream geologists have long believed that ancient humans never settled on Antarctica because of its hostile climate. But incredibly, in 2016, satellite images revealed a curious formation emerging from the ice that some researchers believe could be a man-made pyramid. Recently, there have been a number of reports of pyramids, huge great pyramids in Antarctica. They jut out of the ice and snow and they look perfect, just like those in Egypt. But they dwarf those in Egypt, like the Great Pyramid. One has a perfectly square base that is two kilometers square in each direction. Is it possible, therefore, that our ancestors did actually reach the Antarctic continent and perhaps even settle there? A man-made pyramid beneath the Antarctic ice? If such an incredible notion is true, then it naturally begs some questions. How was such a massive structure built on Antarctica? When was it done and by whom? Antarctica, we have been told from the geologists, has been under ice for many millions of years. However, there is evidence that it could have been free of ice, certainly in certain areas, until perhaps 4000 BC. There are a large number of stories from Polynesia of so-called culture heroes who reached the Antarctic continent. A French academic by the name of Argon put together all of these different stories in a book titled Out of Antarctica. The Polynesian people's stories describe this strange land with these white rocks that come out of the water, which are icebergs and other creatures such as seals and penguins and seem to describe an area that we now know as Antarctica. The Polynesian peoples believed this was the place of the ancestors. And they said, this is where uh, we came from originally. Why did they believe this if this was untrue? Is it really possible that the coldest place on Earth was once warm enough to be inhabited by humans? Well... In 2017, German geologists collected core samples from deep within the frozen Antarctic seafloor in order to analyze what the continent's climate might have been like thousands of years ago. What they discovered was astonishing. In the case of that expedition in early 2017, we used a very special seafloor drill rig that uh, hasn't been used before in Antarctica. So when we used this special drill rig and the sediments came up, we saw immediately more than 60 different taxa of plants, similar to something that you would find in a rainforest in a temperature regime that was similar to what we today know from northern Italy. And finding that on the Antarctic continent, that was the most exciting thing. Because the climatic conditions doesn't today allow any vegetation to survive under those conditions. So based on that location, and the environment we found, I think that the Antarctic continent and the secrets that still need to be recovered will tell us a lot about planet Earth.